So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and open the cloud console incognito window like this and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel now main thing is that if it asks for username and password check the lab instruction for it now just click on i understand and then here you have to click on i agree and then agree and continue now the next step is that activate the cloud shell and now please pay attention to some of the important steps I will share. Here just authorize and continue. Now come back to the lab instruction. First of all let me increase the font size. Now yes come to the lab instruction. Now we have to first of all prepare the environment. Basically we will be exporting the zone region and project ID. Okay. Now after that we have to enable the APIs. So once the API is enabled, what we need to do, we need to add the policies, okay. Now once the policy is added, we have to just run this command. Basically now we have to create a basically login using the GitHub account. So here just hit enter again hit enter type y and then hit enter again hit enter and once again hit enter now you have to log in now if you don't have a github account you can create it just create it enter the email and details just like you create any account now click on sign in i have already the github account i'm signing in click on continue and if it asks for any otp check your email now here we have to enter the code so drag your mouse cursor from here to here and just paste it to just drag your mouse cursor and leave the click button okay left click i mean to say now authorize the github it is now signed in now please pay attention to each and every step now here we have to create a repository okay this is done now we have to just clone the repository Once the repo is successfully cloned, we have to just come back to the lab instruction and do some other steps. Okay, let me show you what we have to do. We have to just modify the files. Okay, we have done this and we have to make a directory first of all. So it's made. Now we have to modify this file. Basically, we have to update the region on these three files. So we have to open the editor. Okay, these three files we have to open. So here the shell editor it will take some time. So wait for it. So wait for it. It will take few minutes, depending on your internet speed. So finally, we have to open the Cloud Run Progression folder. Okay. Now here we have to modify the three files. Okay. So first of all, branch dot yaml file copy this region it might be different for you so always check according to the lab update it like this come back to the second file update it third file update it so basically we have modified now save it once you have saved open the terminal now we have to run this command now all things have been updated and fixed now the next step is that we have to initiate the environment so just run this command and if you want you can check the score. Now here all things have been done. Now we have to just come back to the lab instructions and check the score. So let's check the score. Now we have to run the build service. So just paste over here and wait for the build to complete. Now it will take 4 to 5 minutes so wait for it and then we will move forward to the next step ok. Now here you can see it's run. Now here we have to run this command ok. Now let's check the score for this particular task. 
Now for task number three, we have to do some changes. Okay. First of all, we have to initiate the connection from our GitHub repo. Now here is the important thing you need to pay attention. So here an action URL will be generated. You have to just do one thing. Okay. You have to you have to not click it on it directly. You have to just copy it from top to bottom. Okay. Like this. You can see here action URL demo is here. Just select it from your mouse cursor click it and just and click it now paste over here and select your student account make sure you are signed into your github also now here what you need to do you need to just click on continue now here it will show your github username basically so you have to just click on it and if it shows any repository like lab one this one cloud progression you have to click it but in my case it does not show so just follow the way i am doing so basically these are the steps which you have done now copy it from here come back here just paste over here what i said for user accounts you have to just drag your mouse cursor and just unclick basically you have to unclick the button and just paste on your new tab window so this is the second thing we have done now here this thing is also done now we have to come here and just set up the trigger. So just run it. It will basically set up the ticker. And it is also done. Now the next step is that. We have to just run this one. And let's update the version. Basically it is 1.0. We have to make it 1.1. Now come here. And here you can see. So you have to just click on and use the backspace one and just save it okay make sure the contents are same yes it's same save it open the terminal and just run this command now once you have done it it will start deploying so instantly you may not get the score because it will take four to five minutes so just wait till it gets completed okay i repeat you need to wait for at least five to ten minutes for this particular task because it is just deploying the builds if you want to view the build, I will tell you in the next step also. No need to worry about it. Here are two ways to view the build. First, you can use the cloud build or also you can use the cloud run to view the latest revision build. So here you can see it's here. Just click on it. And here you can see revision is there. Just click on the revision. First of all, the build is being created, then only the revision will be created. So you need to wait for it to get completed and then only you'll be able to get the score. You can see here the build, build is still being created. So just wait. Now after four to five minutes, you can come back here and check the score. Now let's run this one over here. And now once it is completed, what you need to do, you need to come back to the lab instruction and here we have to run another one. So just run this command also. Now after that we have to run this automatic testing on the cloud shell. So this is also being completed. Now here copy this and paste over here now let me show you one thing you can view the revision here also and you can do one thing you can open the cloud build also so i will show you how you have to open it no need to worry about it sometimes it shows as you can see previous build was here and if you try to check the score you may not get the score you may not get the score okay so here what you need to do on the search box if you want you can view the revisions here also but if you want to view basically the thing is that you can do one thing you can wait for five to ten minutes or if you want to how view how the build works so you can view it also so let me show you i will do let me show you if you don't want to wait and want to see what does it works so here you have to type cloud build and just click on this one okay just check it 
basically it will open a new page so in simple words you need to wait for this task to get completed as you can see the build is not ready right now it is being prepared currently it is being prepared so you need to wait for it okay if you follow the way i have done you will definitely get the score okay so finally after waiting for 5 to 10 minutes you got the score so here we will move forward to the next step you have to run this on the cloud shell okay now again run this one also and the third command also so here basically we have run first second and third command now here we have to run the build command so currently it is showing version 1 we have to stop it for that you need to just use control c press control c now just paste this one and it will rebuild the cluster so just push it so basically here we are creating three deployments if you want to view what you can do you can click on the history again or just refresh the browser refreshing the browser will help a lot you can just refresh the browser also like this so you can see here the build is being created this one so you need to wait for the build to get completed and after that you will be able to complete this lap okay Now, once the build is succeeded, you can check the score and definitely get the score if you follow the way I have done. Okay. So you can see we got the score because the build is successfully created. Let me show you the build. So you can see it's running; it's showing successful, and that's how we.